Hey guys, what's up? Time to talk hey, the Gaming Kai D double G, and wow, I'm welcoming you to part 30 of SpongeBob SquarePants Creature from the Krusty Krab. In the past two days, since school's coming back and we have a lot of stuff to do, uh, we're gonna have a lot of stuff to do, like get my school supplies and get new clothes and all that. Uh, probably over the next week or so. Um, we doubled the amount of parts that were recorded yesterday after uh, yesterday morning there was only 15 parts recorded total and now today 356 p.m. there is now 30 parts recorded counting this one so it's unbelievable guys this game is almost done. It, and like I said, it's just unbelievable. This game's almost done. Anyway, in the last episode, we started battling Giant Plankton with uh, um, Patrick Starfishman, who came back at the, in just the nick of time. We did the first two parts last time, and now we are moving on to part three. The helicopters from the Bikini Bottom Defense Force and more will start becoming involved in this part. Basically, you could bluster puff attack, stand in front of this fan, and then that spotlight signals the helicopters from the Bikini Bottom Defense Force to come in. It annoys Plankton at times. Actually, it doesn't annoy Plankton right now, according to that line right there, but when you get more and more on him, as more and more start coming in, as he signaled them, then he'll start to get annoyed. Every time you press that button right there in the second part of this uh, of these rooftops, more enemies always show up. And yes, Mermaid Man will have some dialogue throughout. Not like he hasn't already. You know, if you guys think about it, uh, the voice may be a little bit lighter, but that seems uh, that sounds like Silver the Hedgehog from Sonic 06. Right there. Stop hitting the god dang pipe. I hate when he does that. He hits the pipe instead of the button itself. No, I'm not getting knocked, uh, knocked down again. This sleepy seat is mine. Crap! What? No, I'm not being knocked off again by these idiots. That was just pure stupid. I was just trying to get the dang uh, sleepy seat not to fall off the edge. What the frick? Again? Okay, I'm gonna cut until I get that ha uh, um, until I get, uh, get that sleepy seed. Jesus. Okay. Okay. I finally got the thing after tedious, unexpected, really retarded fails. Now we're finally ready to blow these, uh, two, um, 
windmills or whatever you want to call them here. Or sands, whatever. Yeah, the sands. Why do they call them windmills? Okay, now there's about two or three helicopters. Actually, there could be actually like four or five because of all the spotlights we sell them with. Okay, uh, we are about to, at the five and a half minute mark. Perfect timing. Move on to the next part here. I like that backwards pose there. You probably like this one for you, lady. <laughs> no, no, I didn't know. Okay, this is part four. It's not over yet. I can tell where this one is. So basically what you do here is first of all, uh, as usual, destroy his lackeys. And then what Plankton does, you stand behind these buttons right there. Uh, and once you smash one, it'll uh, it'll start turning these mechanisms here. It'll start turning them like with the large metal uh, rectangle or whatever on. All I know that is it's made of metal or steel or something. And once you get them, uh, and once you get them all the way turned around, they'll crush Plankton's hands, and um, and he'll uh, start uh, start rampaging basically. He'll start sending more minions, and uh, he'll start doing something involving this stuff below. Okay. Sometimes you can get both buttons blasted, so both of them can come open. From those little castles they were in, to crush his hand faster. Um, you have to repeat this process twice. He pushes, uh, he pushes the first one down. Now, what you gotta do is just completely watch out here, because he's gonna take out the floor with his giant fist in multiple places. Another weird thing I found is that if you knock the, um, the goons down the gas, they'll just instantly die. I mean, and if, they, and if they're running after you, and you, like, um, oh god, more of these cannon doofuses. And if you, like, um, yeah, if they, like, fall down the gas or something, they'll instantly die no matter what. So, we're gonna have to, uh, redo the process. We have to do it twice before we get out of here. And there's a sleepy scene nearby. Okay, it's right there. Easy to get. Just avoid um just avoid going into those gaps. Some of Plankton's minions in my dad are really freaking stupid. Cause look at this one. It's running in place. going by way faster than I expected. Oh god, shut up. Yeah, all these guys really say is all hail plankton at times. Okay, now that both things are destroyed, like he's fallen off the building and we are headed on to part five. But unfortunately, like the past couple of parts say, this has to be shortened because I'm limiting myself to two areas, or two parts of this battle per video, so. Sorry this video had to end off so early. But, um, uh, this is Howard Stokes, aka The Gaming Guy on TWG. We're going to be finishing up this game soon. Surprisingly, if I would have done this a long time ago, it would have been done a long time ago. I'll probably start doing this with you know, most of my Let's Plays, but when I have like homework and stuff during the school year, it may slow me down just a tad bit. Anyway, this is Tarsuk's like, hey, the Gaming Guy on TWG saying, 
like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to buy the game, play the game, beat the game. Thank you for joining me on part 30 of SpongeBob SquarePants Creature from the Krusty Krab, and I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.